I live here. Welcome back, everybody. In today's video, the topic will be very different because we're actually calling out their channel called Lackluster. Now, this is a frauditor bootlicker channel where he polishes the boots of frauditors and he also calls out bad cops. Now, I do want to start by saying I do respect what Lackluster does. He doesn't go in the streets and harasses old ladies to make money. He actually investigates a story and makes a well-composed video. He's really good at editing and at fact-finding. But remember that he is always biased. And in this specific video, he was clearly lying to his subscribers. Now we're going to break it down and I will show you exactly where he was lying and what it meant because it was not a small white lie, it was a huge lie. Let's get into it. Barry Cooper was once one of the nation's top canine and narcotics officers. During his tenure, he realized that the war on drugs was immoral and ineffective. His new understanding caused him to shift directions, and he created the Never Get Busted video series to teach people how to never get caught. So this is Barry Cooper. He's Lackluster's newest business partner. They're going to be doing live streams together. And as far as I know, this part of the story is 100% accurate. Barry Cooper was a police officer that specialized in canine training and in drug busts. And he flipped sides and then started to inform criminals how to get away with selling drugs. So what he did is a sting house that is supposed to catch bad cops doing busts. He rented a house, put tin foils in the window, made it look like it was a grow house. And then the police came, did a raid. They found nothing. It was kind of like an elaborate prank. Barry found a vacant house and put tin foil over the windows. He brought in grow lights and ventilation systems, all for the care and nurture for two small pine tree saplings. With weapons drawn, the officers enter the residence and systematically clear the house room by room. They finally make it to the room hosting the Christmas tree grow and realize that their anonymous tip was false. And all of this was just to prove the innocence of a woman called Yolanda Madden. And this is where lackluster starts to lie. This story begins with the arrest of Yolanda Madden, a single mother of two with no criminal history or issues with addiction. In 2005, she was arrested for possession. Any drugs or weapons in there? What's your drug? My dad. My dad, any drugs in there right now? Weapons? Nothing at all. Mind if we check it? We got information that's supposed to be drugs in there. Though she was 100% innocent, she was convicted, and due to the weight of the illicit substance, she was sentenced to eight years in prison. Yolanda's father had overwhelming evidence that the substances used to convict her were planted by a confidential informant who had accidentally hit the wrong target. Remember when Lackluster said that she had no problem with substance abuse? Well, upon doing our own research, we found that the judge referred to a statement that she said to an Odessa police officer's when she admitted that she sold more meth than she used. So this piece of information didn't fit Lackluster's anti-police narrative, so he decided to cut it out completely. Now, everything I'm telling you is available online. Feel free to do your own research. Don't take my word for it. I'm just here to expose the lies of Lackluster. Let's get back to the stunt with Barry Cooper, and you will soon see how the two stories intertwine. Before leaving, they noticed a Cop Busters t-shirt pinned to the wall, alongside a note addressing the officers that read, You are the focus of a new reality TV show called Cop Busters. There is nobody in the house, and nothing illegal has happened. We will be approaching to interview you with cameras. Our crew will be in red t-shirts, like the one on the wall. The officers then find the surveillance equipment and leave, just as quickly as they arrived. Yeah, because they got this camera here, they got two in there, and all the monitors are running up there in, in the cabinet. You can hear it, huh? No, 
So the pranksters decided to confront the cops in front of the free grill house. This prank will come back and bite them in the ass in the future. The information obtained by this operation was used to prove that the Odessa Police Department lied on affidavits used to obtain search warrants and eventually freed Yolanda Madden. Tonight, Yolanda Madden is a free woman and she says she was falsely imprisoned for four years. Today, District Judge Rob Junell vacated her sentence. Sure. Because of the setup, Yolanda spent four years of her life in prison, despite her innocence. So for Lackluster, this is where the story ends. Let's look at his claims and debunk them one by one. So first, Lackluster claimed that the stunt helped prove that the police lied on affidavits, which is not true. Why don't we take a look at the truth instead? What happened is that the judge Rob Janelle ordered Madden's sentence to be vacated because the prosecution had withheld evidence that might have negated a key piece of material evidence. So as you guys see, there is no mention of police lying on affidavits. His second claim was Yolanda was freed of all charges. Now let's take a look at the truth. The truth is Yolanda was released from prison and granted a retrial. After her retrial, Yolanda was sentenced to time served, three years supervised release, and completed 200 hours of community service. So Lackluster claimed that she was innocent. Now let's take a look at the truth. When she was retrialed a year later, she did a plea agreement and she pled guilty. So as far as the law is concerned, she is guilty of the crime. But that part didn't fit Lackluster's narrative very well, so he took that out of the story completely. So just to clarify, Lackluster claimed that the police lied on affidavits. That was a lie. He said that Yolanda was freed from all charges. That was a lie. And he said that Yolanda was innocent, which was also a lie. So that's it for our presentation. Feel free to fact check everything we've told you today. Do your own research. And all we wanted to say is that yes, Lackluster is a good channel that calls out bad cops, but he's willing to twist the truth and sometimes even outright lie to his subscribers to make it fit his narrative. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and let us know in the comments if you like this type of content. We'll see you on the next video. I live here!